have three products to start off this month's favourite wits. Favourites with, there we go. And the first product is this guy here by Real Techniques. Now, I did a full review on the four of these brushes from their Bold Metals collection a while ago, and it was a very mixed review. Like, there's some things I like about them, and I was disappointed with a lot of the brushes, but this was my favourite one, pretty much, out of all the brushes. And it's number 300. Um, the, this is one of the ones that has the feckin' finger marks on, but in the actual brush itself, what I've been using it for is to apply foundation. So I actually first uh, tried this out, it was on a client there a few weeks ago, and I just picked it up without even thinking, and I used it to put on a liquid foundation because these are synthetic, these are synthetic, sorry, I was looking at my Sephora brush for some reason, it looks really dirty, but these are synthetic bristles, so I figured sure I'll give it a go, see how it applies the foundation, and oh, it's just the loveliest brush for applying foundation. This, uh, it's, it's, let's try and get back on track, what was I saying? Um, oh, it's dense enough that there's, you know, it's, it, it'll spread without leaving too, ma too many marks, too many, um, lines or marks or anything in the face but it is fluffy enough that it just gives that beautiful buffed blend I don't know else, how else to describe it and I think I've seen a few other people on YouTube saying that they're using the big one the 100 for foundation and um, I prefer this size I don't really love a massive brush I tend not to use huge brushes on myself I just stick them in my kit but this I've been loving for foundation and because it's tapered you actually can get in around the contours of the nose and stuff fairly easily enough then these two guys well there's actually more than two because there's more in here are my other favorites so this is the MUD or makeup designery face primer and it's 50 mil I think it was about 21 euro and then I got 25% like trade discount off it so whatever that was and this is a water-based primer but it is quite silicone-y but um like there's a lot of silicone in it but it's much more fluid than some of the other silicone primers so it comes out like this lovely milky fluid um and then it's not as jelly like as some other silicone products so I like it. I think it's a bit more fluid and I much prefer the feel of that on the skin. It doesn't feel as if it's blocking my skin as much as some of those other silicone heavy primers can. Um, I really, really like the feel of that. It just gives you the softest finish to your skin. But I also use that sometimes to mix with these guys. Now you'll have seen these in the Shiv Stash video as well at the start of the month. But basically this is, um, I think it's CW02. And W02, what is it? Oh, I'm getting a bit confused. Basically, that's kind of like um, just a neutral light and that's a like yellow-based light. I've seen, the, I can't speak today, sorry guys. I've seen Wayne Goss from Goss Makeup Artist going on about how amazing these MUD cream uh, foundations are. Now you can, of course, get the palette fully made up, but I said I'd give them a go first before I um, spent the money on a full palette. So you can make them up or you can buy them already pre-filled. And I said I'd make them up myself. If I didn't love the foundations, I could always get the blushes then to fill up the rest of the palette. So I figured it'd be safer to just buy the two ones. And I'm in love. I'm wearing it today. And it really gives the most flawless, just beautiful finish to your skin. Because your skin still looks like skin, but it gives really, really good coverage. And when I read all the ingredients in it, um, they're all lovely hydrating ingredients. Um, like a lot of them are glycerin based. I know the top ingredient I think is comes from glycerin and coconut oil or something like that. Um, but it's not it's not a very emollient or very oily cream by any means. Um, really, really lovely. So what I've been doing is sometimes scooping out a tiny bit on the back of my hand and mixing it in with the primer, or else today what I did was use this uh, concealer brush and then swirl it around in the product and then painted lightly over my face and went in with my stifting brush by uh, Real Techniques then to buff it in and it turned out lovely but I did have some primer did I say that on initially just so that there'd be some slip so it would buff in very well but it doesn't seem to grab to any areas like the girl in the in flare where I got it said that oh you have to use it with the primer it'd be too dry otherwise but it's actually I don't find it it's a very 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 like ridiculously dry primer anyhow but our um, foundation but I suppose I have been using it over the primer but I'm really really enjoying that I think how much did I spend was it maybe 50 euro for all four of these, like say the two foundations, the palette and then this. 
and that was with the discount so not the worst in the world but um yeah I'll definitely be filling up the rest of my palette with that and there's a big mirror in the palette as well which is great so that those those yeah those are my favorites for now since I haven't really been filming too many makeup tutorials this month I haven't been trying like loads and loads of different makeup I've kind of just been wearing the same bits over and over again and pretty much wearing the same look over and over again so um that would include this guy here and I've worn this in a load of videos recently and um I'm an idiot I always forget to just write what I'm or say what I'm wearing in the video Um, it's the meteoric matte number 307 matte apocalypse lip velvet so the original ones of these I think were shiny and then they brought out the matte ones and this is lovely so you can see it's that gorgeous wine burgundy kind of color really love how this applies to the lips love how it wears love how it looks I love everything about this formula and um, I definitely will be picking up more of these I have um what ones are these these are just the regular apocalypse. Oh yeah, I only have the regular ones. I thought I'd another matte one, but I really like the real apocalypse um, lipsticks anyhow. So that's the Meteor matte one that I've been wearing loads lately. Um, it's all about no fuss for me for lips because like I said, I haven't really been like wearing fussy makeup. I just wanted to throw stuff on. With that, I don't have to worry about a lip liner. When I am wearing a lip liner, it's usually for a nude look and it's this guy here, the Maybelline Color Sensational um, number three two number one three two sweet pink and again anytime I've worn this I've been getting a lot of um, compliments and questions about what it is it's this beautiful pink nude I think it can be really hard to find a really nice pink nude um, lip liner because like say with MAC I don't think I think say sore and dervish are quite dark and then like boldly bare and subculture are very uh, like peachy brown nude and then you have some of your brighter poppy pinks but there's not many kind of natural pinks like this around and this is my perfect one so I actually use this a lot in my professional work as well as on myself because it is just that really really lovely nude colour and of course it's not that expensive it being um, Maybelline then another thing I'm wearing today is this guy here my eyes and you would have seen this I used this in my um, cruelty free makeup tutorial and it's the Urban Decay solstice eyeshadow it's one of the moon dust eyeshadows so it is um kind of like pressed glitter almost it reminds me of the mac pressed pigments and it is this gorgeous duochrome so it is um like this bluey green glitter duochrome against a like pinkish base so so lovely and unique it would be a little bit like um there's a wet and wild color in one of their palettes that's similar or else like club by mac or blue brown pigment by mac somewhat similar to those but the texture is different Um, i just think it's a lovely unique one they are more expensive though like you're paying about 18 euro for this guy here um so it's not like a cheap product by any means but it is really really nice and um i'm impressed with it so far now this is what i've been wearing on my cheeks like every day i mean i haven't actually worn another blush at all this month and this is the uh, max factor open it there this guy here it is gorgeous so of course that's what's on me today it's the max factor creme Pre creme puff blush in number five lovely pink there are four i think all together available even though this is number five but i think there's only four in the range and um i'll definitely pick up the rest of them because it's so so nice it's basically like a mineral mineral um it looks like a mineral baked product a baked mineral product um so it'd be similar to like the mineral um msfs the Oh my god, how have I forgotten this? The Mineralized Skin Finish Naturals by MAC. And um, this is such a such a lovely shade, especially for my pale complexion. Um, it's about 11 or 12 year old here in Ireland. And this is a recent release, but definitely one of my favourite, favourite products of the month, like, all together. Uh, quickly, I've been using this guy on my eyebrows constantly um, recently. Since they've grown it back a little bit more, thankfully, they're not as thin as they were so um i can kind of get away without having to use a pencil if i don't want to this is the pro Wear waterproof brow set by mac in quite brunette so here's how it looks with just one eyebrow done and the other brow without it so you can see it kind of does significantly thicken them up and you know add definition and stuff like that and then of course this is how they look with just this on both of them uh, this is great because if it is warm and sweaty or if it is and warm and you get sweaty it's not going to run because it's waterproof now this sadly is on its last legs i'd say i'll only get a few more uses out of it before i have to throw it out because 
it's starting to dry up a wee bit but I've had this for ages and I do love that the tip of this is very very tapered so you can kind of get that small tail at the end of your um, eyebrows without it making too much of a mess on the skin around it so that's great this is something i've had for a while and because i have so many mascaras on the go at any one time i don't really like to open all the new ones i get but at the same time you don't want to wait years after a company sends you a product before you show it either because you know that's not really fair so this is the isadora uh, volume lash styler mascara and i had been mostly wearing mac mascaras all month because i was um like for 10 days well i was swatching them like all month because of the mac mascara video i did so i was you know that was 10 days of mascara wearing and i wasn't really wearing mascara for most of the other days or any makeup so um the only other mascara that i've used is this guy here and it's really really nice so this is what it looks like on my eyes so it gives nice length a little bit of volume it's still like relatively defined it's not clumpy at all and it's a nice black black and I really like the head on this it, it's really flappy it has um like softish silicone spikes it doesn't laden like it's not totally laden with product it's not gonna make it go on really clumpy or anything like that it's just a really nice product and these are a little bit more expensive like it is drugstore but uh, this is 18 nine, 17 or 18 euro so it's you know a little bit higher up on the price scale compared to what you're used to getting in the drugstore but this is really really nice it's still cheaper than say mac and that but i'm really enjoying this so far i would liken it maybe to the mac in extreme dimension lash it wouldn't be like the wand isn't the exact same but it's not hugely different when it's on and then my final favorite for today is it yes um no my second final favorite okay first of all is this is rose water so i showed this in a recent um haul video or ship stash and what i've been doing is popping it into a spritz bottle and then just spritzing my face as I need it so I use it as a toner I use it to freshen up throughout the day I use it to spritz on my face in between like layers of uh, moisturizer and stuff like that and it has such a pleasant scent but it does offer that kick of hydration that your face needs and um, you know there's loads of other great benefits to rose water so I'd highly uh, I'd highly recommend checking them out and seeing uh, giving it a go because it's great it's inexpensive but it is really good for the skin and then finally I've been loving my uh, bamboo volume 2 brush set by Zoeva this this um this month. I am going to be packing away all my brushes probably today because um I, I have to move house in the next two weeks. We still don't have a house, we'll get something I'm sure. But um I want to like pack everything away because as soon as we get a house, we'll have to be ready to move, and that could be tomorrow for all I know. So what I'm gonna do is pack away all my brushes. Um, my professional brushes will obviously be in my kit for work but the only brushes I'm going to be leaving out for myself are these guys here and my blank canvas um, cosmetic brushes as well so they're kind of the main brushes that I've been pretty much kind of going for lately and um, really love how these look and everything but yeah I really really like those for the moment so I don't have any personal favorites really left no, scrap that. I don't have any personal makeup favourites really left for the last of the month or the end of the month. But I do have this favourite that's from my kit. So it's not you know personal makeup, but it's my kit makeup. And that's this guy. So I recently depotted um, 24, isn't it? 24 of my lipsticks into this palette here because um, it's just so... So much handier when you are on a makeup job especially if you've multiple people to work on and your um you know your time is extremely limited and you're looking for a certain lipstick and it could be right there in front of you but because there are five like 15 other lipsticks around it it's gonna be really hard to pick out but when they're all like this in a palette it's just so much so so much handier now this is mostly max so I'll run really, really quickly through them just to let you know what's there. So we have Altered Beige, which was a limited edition one there, I think. Plain Koi, A Perfect Day Again, which was limited. Um, Blankety Shrimp is actually from Buff Makeup. Then we have Patisserie, Viva Glam 2 and Viva Glam 5. Uh, Salute was another limited edition one from last, Chris, last summer's uh, edition edition last summer's collection shy girl ravishing i'm probably not even on the same place ravishing um cherish modesty velvet teddy then we have till tomorrow which is a prolong wear and sensual sparks which was limited edition as well then we have angel and that's one i'd use quite a lot and love lauren they're like two of my favorite pinks this one here is a wet and wild color it's pink pink then we have Morning Rose, which I think was limited as well, but it's another really nice pink. Tea Rose is actually from NYX. Then we have Syrup. 
plum full and amorous so they'd be some of my most used bridal kind of lipsticks um for you know for um bridal work obviously my most used lipsticks for bridal work but yeah it makes life so much easier when it's in this so you just scoop a tiny bit out onto the back of your hand and then use a brush to apply it and then my only other favorite then for this month is this guy here which i've already shown i'm pretty sure i showed this in a shiv stash it's my tangle teaser so it's just the best hairbrush ever i mean it literally glides through the hair it doesn't get caught on any knots um you know it, it's it brushes everything out it's just so handy especially when my hair is wet and you know you're prone to breakage when your hair is wet but i kind of trust that this is going to do very very little damage when i do brush it when it's wet so that's it um that's all i've been pretty much really loving this month and i'd say i will be filming from a new place now for next month hopefully fingers crossed we'll get a new house sorted soon because um we have to be out of this place relatively soon. We actually have been given an extension, thank God, because uh, we're due to be out of here in a month, in a, in a week's time, and we don't have anywhere new yet. But hopefully, like I said, the next time you see my favourites next month, I'll be in a new place. So um, in the meantime, take care, everyone, and see you then. Slan.